In today's session, we are going to learn about processing ID, which is nothing but MSH11. When I click over here, you can see you can see MSH11 as P. P is nothing but production. So this is very easy to understand when we are uh, tracking real-time message or like trying to send messages from testing to production or production to testing. It will help us. So when we go back, I'll go back over here. P is nothing but this particular message is related to production and we shouldn't see them mainly in any test environment or debugging environment. When it says T, it is nothing but this message belong to testing environment. Mainly these are used for testing purpose and when it is D for if you are debugging any specific message, you should uh, try to give it as D. So it varies, not uh, everyone follows this protocol, but it's always uh, good to follow the strict protocols. And you can even vary this processing ID to something else like X. And let's see what happens over here. When I click over here, it says X. This particular tool doesn't have anything inbuilt code for the meaning of X, but we can edit it if required. Okay. I can add a separate uh, X item over here and uh, display the value for that description. So it's always uh, good to remember. And when you're trying to deal with the message which has P over here, so it's a production message, you shouldn't uh, copy it anywhere or you shouldn't pass it to any test environment. So this uh, MSH header segment will indicate the symbol as P or T or D. Depending upon that, you should pass that message only to those environments. So it's, it's just an indication. With the control ID, you will not be able to identify whether it's production. It's, it's completely related to tracking the message. So always use uh, processing ID. And when you're trying to be uh, compliant and uh, be active and tracking the messages, so it's always uh, helpful to remember the processing ID.